Hello, and welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So it's been a while since I've done another video. Um, just checking to make sure it's recording. Uh, I have done a little shopping. I'm waiting for a loft order to come in still. It's saying it's on its way, but with no date. Um, and I ordered it the 28th, and today is December 4th. So I still have not received it yet. But I figured, let me in the meantime show you the couple little items that I picked up because there are some returns though that I want to do um, and get those out of the way. So first up is something I'm keeping. I saw Laura on Little Box of Happy get this beautiful moto jacket. It's almost like in a sea glass color, I would call it. It's like a, a greenish gray. I don't have anything like this color. She got it in Anthropology, which is where I got it, and it was on sale for me. They only had an extra small and extra large is left. And I got it for $46 and then $6 shipping. So it was together, I think, $51 in total for me. So I think that was a pretty good deal. Um, I have an idea of how I'm gonna wear this, so I will try it on for you. All right, and actually I have a pair of pants on order from Loft that I was hoping to wear with it, but obviously I haven't gotten that yet. Next up, I got this Stitch Fix sweater. Okay, it is in that burnt orange or pumpkin spice. It's a beautiful color. It is a turtleneck. It is a ribbed, but it's not form-fitting. I did try this on already. It is by Love Ellie. I got it in a size extra small. And it is called the Helen Ribbed Cow Neck Pullover. And I believe it was $46. And I got it on Stitch Fix Shop Your Looks. Now, I really do love the color of this sweater. And I was looking for something just like it in this color. Um, a sweater or top. Because I don't really have much in this color. Um, and, you know, I ordered on Loft uh, a velvet top that has, like, poof sleeves in this color. And I was looking for a velvet top, and I'm also looking for something in this color. So if I can get that from Loft, that kills two birds with one stone, I'll return this. So I think I'm going to return this because it just looks okay on me. And the quality is okay on this. It's very soft, but honestly, I feel like if I washed it, it would stretch out and not look very good. Um, I just kind of feel it's that type of material. Um, it's a nice sweater. I'll try it on for you. I just don't think I'm in love with it. Okay, next up, so I went to Loft Black Friday because I had to get it in my house, but they were actually one of the reasons why I didn't film anything is we were having the house painted and my house has been in shambles for like the last three weeks. So I had to get out of the house on Black Friday. So I went to a local shopping center where there's a Loft um, and it's a very dead shopping center. Like Loft is one of the few stores that's left there. <laughs> And I got a few things, and I'm probably gonna have to return some things here too. So the first thing I got was this top, and I think I got it for $25. It's a tunic length, it's thermal and gray, and a size extra small. The original price is $49.50, but they were having a, a half off sale. Um, it's got cow neck, I like it. I don't have anything like this, and it's the fact that it's a tunic length, I thought I can wear these with the Spanx um, camo leggings, but once I brought it home and looked at it, I don't think it goes that well. But you're gonna have to tell me. So I'm gonna try it on together and you tell me whether or not this goes with the leggings or not, okay? Next up, and the funny thing is, I ordered this and I ordered, I ordered it online, forgot I ordered it online, and when I was in the store on Black Friday, I picked it up and bought it. So it goes to tell you how good my memory is. But I obviously must like it if I bought it twice. So I'm still waiting for the order to come in. But meanwhile, I have this. This was originally $59.50. And because it was Black Friday, it was on sale for $20. I actually got this sweater last year in a beige color. So it's basically the same thing. It's a cowl neck and it's tunic length. At least I believe it's tunic length. And it's in a, a burgundy color. And I got this to wear with those... Uh, tannish topish colored uh, leggings I got from Stitch Fix Shop Your Looks. So I was hoping for specific things to complete my outfits that I already have. So I will try on those together too and see if they work and you can let me know. Then 
this is not exciting and I might even have shown you this already but I bring it out just to show you anyway it's just an ivory sweater with a turtleneck I had originally gotten one um, from uh, White House Black Market and I paid $50 for it and it just wasn't very flattering on me you can see all my rolls which is to be expected and I can deal with that because uh, there's not too much to do with my rolls anyway but I didn't want to spend $50 on something that wasn't flattering you know this was $30 not flattering either but I'd rather spend $30 on something not flattering than $50 on something not flattering if that makes sense and the whole purpose of this is to to layer with so my thinking in my head was this and, and this isn't the only reason to get this but this is something I've had in mind for a while just for layering under different jackets and whatnot but in my mind I thought this with the pair of ivory pants and I finally got them my boots <laughs> so they're winter white these I got from Nordstrom also on Black Friday or on the Black Friday sale I spent about hundred and thirty two dollars for them they're Mark Fisher and I think there's the Ulani yes the Ulani and they're in a size medium and they are leather 132 so when I first ordered them I was like oh we ordered them and then after I ordered them, I'm like oh no Mark Fisher are those the same ones that were too tight on me that I ordered in the red and when I got them in I'm like okay they're not the crocodile pattern so maybe they're different and I put these on I tried them on and they feel good they're not too tight they're very soft letters leather completely different than those other Mark Fisher I got from Nordstrom so I'll try this all on for you and you can let me know but I'm pretty excited about the boots those are keepers the jacket is a keeper. The ivory turtleneck is a keeper because I will be wearing it under things. Um, and I'm hoping the other things work out and you can let me know. Okay, so give me a few minutes and I'll do a try on. Okay, so first up is this um, top that I got from uh, Stitch Fix Shop Your Looks. It's the Love Ellie top. Uh, it's a sweater. It, I, you know, I'll look at the... Um, let me see if I can find it for you right here now. It is 68% acrylic, 28% nylon, 40% spandex. The quality is okay, but it was $46. And right now you can buy things so cheap due to Black Friday and there's really nothing that fantastic about it. And I really just want one piece in this color. And like I said, I've ordered, after I ordered this, I ordered something from Loft that's in velvet and it's like a balloon sleeve or like a, like a, you'll see it when I get it. Um, you know, so it, I'd rather have that or maybe even something a little bit more unusual or something cheaper for this price. This is just okay and just fits me okay. So I'll come closer so you can see it and see the detail. It has like the, the stitching that goes um, like a triangle here. Um, and it's vertical here, so it, it has some unusual stitching on it. It's a very nice sweater, but it's nothing spectacular, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll be returning this and uh, getting my money back, so I'd rather spend it on something I absolutely love. Okay, next. Okay, next up I got three of the items on, all right? The first item is the actual turtleneck sweater that I got from Macy's. I'll come close, you can see it's ribbed. It is kind of form-fitting, so you can see my little muffin roll up here. Um, it's okay, I ha can't hide it that much. <laughs> um, and then I have on the moto jacket. Um, I really like it, you know, it has uh, snaps right here that you can snap and unsnap. It has uh, fake snaps here up top. It has this zipper with a pocket that actually works and it has a pocket that zips that goes to nowhere. There's nothing you can put in here. And on this side, it is a real pocket. Um, I really like this moto. I think it's really pretty. Um, I got it an extra small and it, I thought it was an unusual color. And when I saw it, I Im immediately envisioned it with a winter white outfit. I don't know why, but I did. I paired it with a pair of winter white pants I got back in the spring from White House Black Market. I probably wouldn't wear it with these because I kind of feel that these are almost springy and a little bit too much going on with the moto. Um, I really want my loft uh, white uh, ivory corduroys, so I want to see how those look with it. But like I said, they're on order and I just haven't gotten them yet. <laughs> 
All right, and I have on the boots, which I will pan down so you can see. So here are the boots. All right, I really like them. Um, they're exactly what I was looking for. There's about a three inch heel. They have a pointy toe, so they're nice and sleek looking. Um, they're exactly what I wanted uh, to go with a bunch of different outfits. And I was, I was either ivory or white. I was either good with either or. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with the boots. I'll pan you back up. So this is three items. The jacket, which I think I got for a steal at, like with the shipping, $51 from Anthropology. Um, the ivory turtleneck I got for $30, I think, from Macy's. It's a styling company. And the boots were a little bit more money, $132 from Nordstrom's. Okay, next I'll try on one of the two tops I got from Loft. Give me a minute. Okay, next up is this gray thermal top. I'll come closer so you can see. It's like a waffle knit um, that I got from Loft. It's a tunic length, so it covers my butt completely. Um, I got it in a regular size, extra small. It has the side slits and it has the cowl neck. And I specifically got this to go with my Spanx Moto leggings, which I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. Um, they are dark moto legging and you know i guess the gray goes but i just i don't think i like it together i mean this is a lighter gray than the gray that's in here and i'm almost thinking with the waffle knit and the pattern of the spanx it might just be too much so give me your feedback in the comments below as to what you think of this um i'm thinking i'm going to return this i did ask both my stitch fix stylist and my nordstrom trunk club stylist to try and find a longer black or gray sweatshirt to wear with these. So hopefully one of them comes up with something. I'm also barefooted now because I still don't have any shoes to go with this. I've also asked them for a wedge sneaker. So we shall see. And I said in black or gray, so we shall see. So you let me know, would you wear these two together or should I just return it? This is like, again, this top is like $25 from Loft. It is, let's see, it feels like a cotton poly mix. Let's see if I can find it, if the fabric is. Fabric is 62% polyester, 35% rayon. Machine wash cold, delicate cycle, tumble dry low. Um, you know, nothing's wrong with it. I just don't know if it actually goes together. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Okay, next up is the burgundy sweater, and that I have high hopes for, so give me a minute. Okay, last up is the burgundy sweater, and like I said, I had it in mind to go with these uh, tribal leggings, their faux suede, that I got from Stitch Fix Shop Your Looks. I think I mentioned this before, about two and a half years ago, I lost a lot of weight, and I've kept it off. And what happened was when I was heavier, that's all I wore were leggings and tunic tops. That's all I could fit into. I was always busting out of my pants. And then when I lost the weight, I bought everything kind of structured and in my size. And I got rid of the leggings, got rid of the tunic tops. They were too big anyway. And you know, now that I'm working from home and working from home permanently, I'm looking for more comfortable things, less structured. So I then bought the leggings and then I'm like, oh, I don't have any tunic tops to go with it. So. I got one from White House Black Market. Now I just got this one from Loft. So it does come down just past my butt. It just makes it. Um, it has the slits on the side. It's in a dark burgundy color. It did not go with the burgundy boots that I got because they're, they're not quite burgundy. They're more of a deep red. And this is like a true deep burgundy, all right? Um, it has the cowl neck. Um, let me, I wore it with a pair of black boots. Let me pan down and leak. Let me know if it looks awful with this. All right. Um, the tan boots I had kind of clashed with the pants and the burgundy did not match. So I decided to go with the black. So let me know what your thoughts on the black booties are with this. Um, these are from Bandolino and I got them from Amazon sometime last year. But I think this top is, it's a sweater. It's a fine gauge sweater, it's a keeper. Here, I'll show you the back of it. Um, it's a, a size extra small, not petite. I found that I think I'm doing better in the extra small size on tops versus a petite size. I just feel I need the length a little bit more. I feel petite's just a tad bit short. So what do you think of my haul? The only thing I think I'm gonna be returning besides the Stitch Fix Shop Your Look sweater is the uh, 
gray thermal from Loth because I don't think it quite goes for the purposes I need it to go for. So you let me know. Um, thank you again for returning subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? It's free to you. Um, click that notification bell. I do a lot of shopping hauls, unboxings. I have a Citrix coming up and a Trump Club coming up sometime, hopefully next week, both of them. Um, and we'll see what I get, see what I keep, who knows? And, uh, you know, until next time, take care.